Act. This is News File, the most authoritative news analysis platform. And here is something stake. Don't be disappointed. Just get RTI working. This month has seen some headlines about the Right to Information Act 2019, Act 989, in Ghana. The Information Minister was in Parliament bemoaning how only 224 RTI requests have been made since the law became operational in 2020. Then came some really great news, expected news, the following week that the court had dismissed the case, the Minerals Commission of the Minerals Commission challenging the RTI Commission uh, Commission's ruling to compel them to give information requested by the fourth estates, that's the Media Foundation for West Africa's uh, publication, at less than one CD 80 pesos per page of photocopy or one CD 90 pesos <clears throat> for PhD, uh, PDA, PDF copies. Instead of the absurd and ridiculous $100,000 or more than 7,000 Ghana cities that the Minerals Commission demanded to supply very basic information, data really. Then this week, the Ministry of Health, without shame, wrote to Joy News declaring it was completely clueless when it comes to information about the promised 111 hospitals President Akufuado and his government have made a song and dance about even before a single one could be built. The ministry acted in grave bad faith because by the law, it is the best and only place anybody ought to seek such information from. If the government indeed wants this law to work, it must whip such ministries and institutions that are acting so shamelessly in denying citizens information. And if indeed this Ministry of Health has no information on the Agenda 111 hospitals. It is most embarrassing and such sign of incompetence not to know or pretend not to know where to refer the applicant to or transfer the request to be processed. Section 90 on the law requires a public institution which does not have custody or control of information sought to make the necessary inquiries to establish which related or relevant institution has the information and to within two days of receiving the application, not waiting until the 14 days when it is supposed to supply the information, refer the applicant to the relevant institution or transfer the request to such institution and notify the applicant of this transfer. These acts certainly discourage the people who want to use the RTI to procure accurate information to serve the public or for their personal use. After all, the powers of government are exercised on behalf of the people and for their welfare. Where it is found that such an act is deliberate and intended to frustrate, mislead, and ultimately deny a person's right to information, it is gross misconduct and punishable by a fine of 3000 to 6,000 Ghana cities and or plus jail term 
of one to three years, let the government trigger the criminal prosecution to discourage this conduct if it is sincere about desiring increased use of the law for information. All the fourth estate publication sought from the Minerals Commission was a list of mining licenses issued to companies and revocations, those that have been revoked, plus accountability for monies raised from charges on importation of excavators. Why will a government serious about fighting Galamse look on, not order whoever it appointed to the commission, that's the Minerals Commission, to release such basic data information, but tacitly encourage this Minerals Commission and whoever is at the head, helm there to waste the public funds to go to court to fight the media seeking accurate information to help the Galamse fight. Sounds like a case of causing financial loss and the head of this institution still has his job. Just like whoever wrote that letter to Joy News this week. Mr. Information Minister, you must be speaking and be heard to be cautioning and discouraging the public institutions that are giving all the bad signs to the public to discourage them from seeking information. The Media Foundation for West Africa applied to the NCA for basic information about radio stations that had been closed, shut down. The NCA asked them to pay 2,000 Ghana cities. What sort of joke is this? There's an application to seek to know how much was spent on the president's travels. We have heard the lame excuse that has been given that that is security information. The cost of the travels? What is national security about that? Well, in the midst of all this, I would like to encourage all to continue to make your RTI applications knowing we are blessed with an RTI commission that is keeping faith and fidelity to the law and the people by aggressively and fearlessly implementing the law. This is my take. We'll be right back.